the BRL, our tales to be told with Agent Master Hero, the brave and the strong, fighting these monsters where I belong, in pixels and screens, my courage does dwell, with fellow agents, we break the spell. Hello fellow agents and welcome back to Agent Mesh Gaming and welcome back to the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners VR. Pretty much another apocalypse. Ah, zombies. Right guys, let's head straight in. I think Case is trying to communicate. Yeah, what is it? Something's really been bugging me. I'm wondering if you could dig up some answers. Do we have time to be getting sidetracked, Casey? The water must still be rising down there. No one knows that better than me, tourist. But until I locate another flow regulator, not much to be done. And I figured you could put my mind at ease until then. I need some information on what happened to the people who were in the reserve with me. The other members of my squad. When the water pressure was getting too much for the bunker to handle, sections of it started to lock down. We analyzed the systems, and we were able to pinpoint the issue. They went off to fix it, and left me behind in the reserve. But then the whole place locked down, trapping me inside. I tried to reach him by radio, but I... I got no response. I need to know what happened to them after they left. Where did they need to go to fix the problem? Near Rampart High School. Honestly, what happened to my friend Kenneth is what concerns me the most. We were close. The other three, we didn't part on the best terms. We didn't see eye to eye. Tell me about your friend Kenneth. He was like a big brother to me. Stood up for me when everyone else in here was out of their fucking minds. What do you mean, out of their fucking minds? What happened down there, Casey? They made a fucked up decision, okay? Kenneth and I were not cool with it, but they did it anyway. Let's just leave it at that. I'm not in the mood to get into it. Past is the fucking past. If you wander over to Rampart High, maybe you can dig something up. The gym is probably the best place to start. Okay. There was a disaster relief camp there that they were going to search. Find out if Kenneth made it. That's all I'm asking. Maybe it'll help me sleep better. Maybe not. I'll keep my ears peeled for what we need in the meantime. Okay. Okay, Dokley. So, we're going to investigate the Goffin, and today's adventures will take us to Rampart. I need that. Oh, good, it comes back. <laughs> okay. Let's go and see what treasures we have. Let's go and see what treasures we have. Let's go and see what treasures we have. Through door number two, Scylla. What we got? Ooh. Up the drain pipe, in the window, barbed wire. Okay. Breathe My husband to me. was innocent. I don't give a damn what was on that map. Doesn't prove a thing. Georgia has such a stranglehold on the tower. She could say the sky was green and made of jello, then everybody behind the wall would nod, smile, and get out their spoons. Not me. And not my daughter. I'm going to prove to Ombra that we can rise above it all. That we can remain in truth. Which brings me to a confession, tourist. I didn't tell the full story of how I got the reserve key. Ombra called me out for omitting a critical detail. I am raising the kid right, I guess. To get the key, I had to hurt someone real bad. A dear friend. I almost killed her. In the moment, it felt like the right thing to do. No question. But I regained my senses for my daughter's sake. I could see her eyes pleading with me from across the room. Stop, Mommy. This isn't right, they said. I was ashamed. I had succumbed to what the tower had become under George's influence. 
A breeding ground for betrayal, forcing people to turn against each other to survive. Sad thing is, I'd do it again, in a heartbeat. Not proud of it, but it's true. There is a line with me, and when it's crossed, it does not matter who you are. I will do whatever it takes to defend what I know is right, and protect my daughter. So now, you know exactly who you're dealing with, Taurus. No bullshit. Like before, the drawing will point you to the cache. Beyond the location, the next cache is a mystery to me. No clue what might be in there. All I've heard is that it's quite a haul. May. Oh, we should. Let's recycle our new boat, because we'll be able to make it soon. How are we going to fit that in there? <coughs> oh, eh. Nice. And we've got the other one. We've got that cool little thing. Oh, I think pretty dandy. Oh, what should we do first? Oh, oh. Let's do... Let's do cases first. So let's go to Rampart and find the gym that he was talking about. I'm pretty sure we have enough to get us through. We've got the jump below. We've got two healing things. We have one sterile bandage. Let's quickly run back and get one more sterile bandage. Or two more. We need to pick up some shoes so we can use the glue from the shoes for um, adhesives. <laughs> adhesives. Oh man. Let's go. Rampart. Gonna have to start charging her rent. Where is Rampart? Here we go. Rampart Union Gymnasium. That's where we have to go. Okay, let's get some... Okay. Can we just get this? Our enemies are weak. They lack conviction. Lack purpose. They spread Hello. nothing but lies about us. That's all they can offer. A pile of bullshit. They have no vision for the future. They are hopeless swine. All they want is to see us burn. And why is that? They envy our success. That's why. They know we are strong. They know we refuse to be swayed. They know we are united. And it drives that half-wit charlatan of theirs mad with envy. They don't understand loyalty or sacrifice. We do. Because we are guided by principle. And these principles have seen us through the worst horrors imaginable time and time again. We all know what kind of animals they are. We all know that they stand for nothing. They are empty, depraved psychopaths, every last one of them. They must be dealt with swiftly and without mercy before they can poison everything we have worked so hard to achieve. The tower will always stay. Do it. I don't agree with my new news. I climb gracefully up. Thank you. Ah. So yeah, I didn't want to say it because she was very angry and loud. But uh, I think we got to go in from up here because the front door is locked. Yeah. Come on, guys. Oh. Oh. Okay. And then we got to do the whole yeet. Yeet. Oh. Oh no. Need them for the adhesives? No, you don't. Okay, they said the gymnasium. Is that a walker on the stairs? That is a walker on the stairs. We'll try and get the arrow after. Oh, oh no. Is this who we're looking for? Armory inventory, okay. Casey, with the goddamn whining. I'm about to put my fist through his teeth. We did what we had to do. Live with it. 
and the story. How the fuck that bean pole made it through basic is beyond oh. me. Soft as a melted fucking marshmallow. Different story with Kenny. I respect the guy, but that doesn't mean he gets a pass. The questioning has to stop. We had to protect what was rightfully ours. This bunker is our home. The supplies are our lifeline. If we did not defend it, we'd have all been dead within two weeks. Now we can last months, maybe longer. We can survive this. A brutal decision was made, but we have to fucking stand by it, unified. If Kenny and Casey don't fall in line soon, I'll have no problem marching them out of the bunker door with a gun to the back of their heads. Search the gym for Jeff and search the gym for Trent and search the gym for Kenneth. Okay, I thought we'll use this. Our esteemed mortal, I have been, am, and will be the worst spirit that ever existed either in fact or realm of fantasy. Hell, March. Okay, I'm not sure what that refers to. My brain's just trying to survive here. Let's try and find the gymnasium. Oh no, my light's gonna go out. I can hear people on the other side. Okay, is there no one in here? No one in here? Okay, okay. No! Ah! Uh, uh. Find the gymnasium. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No! Oh my gosh! I don't want this to ever end. Okay, so we got to find this. We got to clear this whole. Oh, oh, come on, come earlier. There we go. Thanks for the advice, guys, in the comments about swinging the axe. Oh, oh, decapitation, Henry the Eighth. Oh, there's someone here. Wasn't about to let those bastards steal. Oh, shit. Yes. It's dog eat fucking dog now, and I'm the mama pit bull. Foster and Trin understand what's up when you go through something like that together. Something that ugly but necessary. You develop a bond to the group, no doubt. The other two? Fuck them. They don't get it. Casey acting like he's innocent. Bunch of bullshit. And Kenny with his moral high horse routine, not gonna put up with him much longer. I'm watching. They so much as blow a fucking fart in my direction, I'll put their asses down. Zero hesitation. Only the ruthless will survive this shit. That would have been cool. Basketball with zombie head. Okay. Or can I actually just throw the basketball up there? Yeah. Oh, so close. I can hear more zombies. We still need to find two more people, I believe. Well, there's a zombie over here. Another door here. Oh, this is gonna break. <laughs> oh. 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 Right. 
We still haven't found it. Searched him for Kenneth, searched him for Tread. Kenneth? Trent? Kenneth and Trent? Okay, so it seems there's many zombies in here. <sighs> Take a breath for a sec. Okay, we can't get through there. That's not going out, no thank you. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, there's three of them. One. Two. Oh no. Oh. Get off me. Oh. oh my gosh. Search for Kenneth. Okay. So there must be other doors that lead to other parts of the building. Get out of my way. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. So that wasn't a good idea. Okay. So how are we gonna find these other ones? Oh, okay. It does not take us out. Yes, so where can the others be? See our jambalaya. <laughs> so there must be other doors. These must be to the outside, right? Oh, this is still the gym. No. Okay, she's strong. Very strong lady. There's footprints. Should we follow the footprints? I didn't see no one else out in the gym. Let's follow the footprints and see if that takes us somewhere. Because they were coming from the gym, which is where they were. Let's have a look. Tracking down, tracking down, tracking down. Oh, it goes into here. Okay. Oh damn, there's someone there. Oh, can we help? Can we... Oh. Didn't think I'd ever see another human being again. What happened? Is your name Kenneth? I yeah. How do you know my name? Casey asked me to look for you. He's alive. In the bunker. He wanted to know what happened to you and the rest of the squad. Casey's alive, huh? That's good to hear. I didn't give him much chance, honestly. Thought he'd have blown his brains out by now. Or shriveled away to nothing. Guess I underestimated him. If you make it back to him, tell him these few things for me. Tell him he's a good guy. The guilt, it's not his. Tell him to let it all go. What happened at the bunker? He needs to wipe his brain clean. Tell him Kenneth said things right. Killed Trent, Jess, and then Foster. Okay? You need to write it down or something? I'll remember everything. Don't worry. But I am curious. 
What happened at the bunker? Fuck it. They've got nothing to hide. We killed dozens of innocent people. Civilians trying to, to get into the bunker. When all the shit with the dead walking started to go down, we had orders to keep everyone out of the bunker. I, I don't know why. It, it didn't make any sense. But when it got too tense, we, we freaked. We mowed them down. Vietnam-style shit. Casey just stood there. Like a ghost. It, that fuck Foster started screaming at him to open fire with the rest of us. Later, I asked Casey if, if he fired. He, he said that he pulled the trigger because he, he was scared that, that, it, that if he didn't, we, we, we'd all turn on him, add his body to the pile. He said he aimed his gun up in the rafters of the church. I believed him. He begged me not to tell the others. He didn't trust them. But he trusted me. We were friends. Listen, my brain is it's, it's, it's getting foggy. I'm, I'm seeing shit. I, I, I don't know how many words I got left. End me. Please. One more question, Kenneth. You said you killed your squad mates. Why? We all deserve death for what we did, champ. They were gonna hurt Cousin Timmy, and I couldn't let them do that. I had to make sure. They were never gonna hurt no one ever again. Right, Uncle Tommy? Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Before you go to the bowling alley, blow my fucking brains out, yeah? That's the only way to remain human all the way to the end, right? I was gonna do it discreetly! Oh. Uh. Well, guys, nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. Oh no, I'm back at high school. Worst time ever. Right, we need to try and make our way with full on items. We need to try and make our way back out. Oh, there's a way out here. Saw sort a of hole in the wall. Yes! Oh, not a way out. Uh, is that ammunition on the floor? Thank you! Oh, there's one on the other side of the door, no? See ya. There were so many. Get me out of here. Oh no, bad, bad time. Oh. 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 She might have sank on her. Uh, we'll have to come back. We'll have to come back. No. Oh. Right, let's find the boat. This is. Blood and horrifying. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we got some good. <laughs> yeah. 
We've got some good. Who was that? Oh, okay. I couldn't find the other ones. Oh no, there's so many. Let's get out of here. Let's go on the skiff and go back to our safe place. Oh, oh, oh. Bye, guys. Woo! That was... Why is it super foggy? Oh, man. Right. Let's go and tell Casey what we found out. That was all kinds of messed up. That was awful. Um, let's recycle first. You know we like to do the recycling first. We've got loads. Oh, of course. We had the nail bomb that I made. have that chat with Casey. You there, Casey? I'm back. Hey, tourist. Did you discover anything? I found Kenneth. You did? Is he still alive? No. He's dead. But he told me some interesting things before it was over. He wanted me to tell you something. You want to know what he said? Yes, of course. What did he say? He said you're a good guy. Not to feel guilt about what happened outside the bunker. To let the massacre go. He told me all about it. From his perspective. But I am curious about yours. Well, if he told you what happened... Why do you need to hear it from me? You know what you need to know, right? And you've told me my friend is dead, so... We can move on, yeah? I know it must be hard, Casey, to talk about it. But it's okay. Tell me what happened. Yeah, you're right, tourist. It's not easy for me. There was a massacre. Three dozen people, at least. Civilians right at the reserve entrance. Innocent people that we should have been protecting. I should have done something to stop it, but I didn't. I stood there, a coward. And now I don't sleep. I have a nervous twitch in my right hand that gets more pronounced every day, and the guilt is like a 10-ton weight crushing my chest. Are you satisfied now? Those are just facts, Casey. I already know the facts. What I need to know is your perspective on the whole thing. There's a reason why you can't sleep. You're twitching like a junkie and your chest feels like it's caving in. Okay, quit badgering me, please. I'll talk. Just give me a second to, to gather my thoughts. It's all fucking foggy. The whole thing escalated really fast. The first bullet was Foster. I wanted to scream no, but it's like I just left my body. Everything after that moment, it's, it's like a nightmare. Jess and Trent started firing. Jess, she, she was, she was smiling. Kenneth hesitated. He looked right through me like he expected me to have his back. But I did nothing. So he started firing. After that, all I've been able to retain are weird details. Oh, the sounds, the hat, Across. Man, sometimes when I'm here lying, trying to sleep, I can actually feel my fingers shaking on the trigger of my rifle, even though I haven't touched the thing since the day it happened. He 
You mentioned a hat. What hat? There was this old man, shielding his wife. He had on this bright blue fishing hat, and I watched a flurry of bullets rip it right off in this spray of blood and skull. <laughs> and this fucking hat, I swear to God, it's the exact same hat my uncle used to wear. And the bullets drove it into the wall, and, and it, it, it hung there for a second, dripping. And then it flopped onto the floor. The image, I just, I, I can't get it out of my head. I'm worried it'll be there forever. And I keep thinking, was it me? Did I shoot those bullets? You never know for sure, Casey. That's exactly right, Tourist. And I can't fucking deal with that. We've all piled up regrets. Impossible not to when the world is this fucked up. What sets the good man apart from the evil one is how you live beyond the regret. Do you make better decisions moving forward? I have to. I can't live with myself otherwise. I have to be better. Then you will be. Simple as that. If you say so. Look, tourist, this little chat, it's worn me the fuck out. And I've got rewiring to do to keep from getting electrocuted next time I use this radio. Not that it really fucking matters. Doubtful I'm getting out of here alive. Without that key that has everyone riled up, this is all a waste of time. I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you later, I guess. Oh, man. Okay, so tomorrow, we need to head to the shallows. How intense was that chat? Whoa. Alright guys. It's that time. If you have been enjoying this, please hit that button. That button? Specifically hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Help me and the fellow residents grow this channel. Oh man. We got some good stuff. And we've got the whole collection of dolls. It's awesome. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves, stay safe, mash out. Sign off. Homes out.